In today's episode, you will learn how to make a water level monitoring system using Arduino, ultrasonic sensor and some LEDs. The LEDs are used to show the percentage of water available in the water tank. This is a beginner's level project explaining the basics. While in the next version of the water level monitoring system, I will use Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to monitor the water level on my cell phone and also to control the water pump from anywhere around the world. So the next version will be entirely based on today's episode. So I highly recommend you should watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Today's episode covers number one, circuit diagram explanation. Number two, interfacing. Number three, programming. And finally, number four, testing. Let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. As you can see the pins are clearly labeled with a VCC, trigger, echo and ground. I have a very detailed getting started tutorial on how to use the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor with Arduino. I will provide a link in the description. This circuit is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see the circuit diagram of the water level monitoring system is really simple. The trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino. While the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with pin number 6 of the Arduino. The VCC and ground pins of the ultrasonic sensor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. These are the 5 volt LEDs which will be used to display the percentage of water available in the water tank. The first LED will show 20%, the second LED will show 40% and so on. So the last LED will show 100%. These are the current limiting resistors which are connected in series with these 2.5 volt LEDs. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to calculate the value of the current limiting resistor. You can find a link in the description. These LEDs are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A0 to A4. The red wire is connected with the ultrasonic sensor VCC pin and is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The black wire is the ground wire and is connected with the Arduino's ground. The green wire is connected with the trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor and is connected with the Arduino's pin number 7. White wire is connected with the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor and is connected with the Arduino's pin number 6. Over here you can see these are the 5 LEDs and are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A0, A1, A2, A3 and A4. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram. Now let's discuss the programming. The trigger pin is connected with pin number 7 and the echo pin is connected with pin number 6 of the Arduino. 
Then defined pins for the LEDs which are connected with analog pins A0 to A4. Total of 5 LEDs are used in this project. If you want, you can increase or decrease the number of LEDs as per your requirement. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and white loop functions. White means that these functions are not returning any values, while the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication while 9600 is the baud rate. This will be used only for the debugging purposes. The trigger pin is set to output while the echo pin is set to input. Set all the LEDs to output using the pin mode function. Turn off all the LEDs using the digital write function. Then starts the while loop function. Define two variables with the names duration and distance. Turn on the trigger pin for 1000 microseconds and then turn it off. Then using this formula we find the distance in centimeters. The rest of the programming is very simple and is only consist of the if conditions. The LEDs are turned on and turned off depending on the distance of the water level from the ultrasonic sensor. The values used in these F conditions can be changed as per your requirement. The type of the ultrasonic sensor I am using is capable of measuring the distance up to 5 meters. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. The next version of the water level monitoring system will be based on remote monitoring in which the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module will be used to display the water level information on a cell phone. Version 2 will be based on two-way communication. You will be able to monitor the water level and control the water pump. So subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.